Oh, baloney. The whole thing always gets back to drugs. Hello, my name is Sandro Grasse and I'm a licensed acupuncturist. Recording this vlog exactly one year since the first one went live. Yep, July 29th, 2016 was when the very first vlog went live, when we put the YouTube channel up and here we are now, almost 7,000 views later and 136 subscribers later and tons of comments and encouragement and it's it's all for you guys and thank you so much for your support and, and for your kind words and um, we hope that we're going to be around for many many more years so bring it on i say <laughs> the um so the comments from the previous video were really cool and uh, thank you so much for that it was recorded in the new clinic i'm back here in the clinic in minute today so i just thought i would put something together and record it from today because there's been a request from um, one of the viewers and i just want to address that because it's actually something quite interesting and it ties in nicely with um What's been in the news this week was the um, the fact that the, the the male sperm numbers are going down um, every year, and that you know there was some reason for for alarm and for you know at least starting to talk about it. So I'll leave a few details about it up here and a few links down as well where you can check it out. But the um, this was something that uh, for practitioners watching this. This was something that was actually mentioned at one of the talks at the um, IF Symposium um, earlier in the year. And Dr. Paul Turek mentioned that on an um, amazing talk. So if you guys missed it, you can go to the website. You can, uh, you can still purchase the recordings. And definitely it, it's well worth it. If you can't be there in person, which I would highly recommend the, um, as a practitioner, it, it's something and if you're dealing obviously with fertility it being male or female you definitely need to put that on your on your bucket list to uh, to go and, and check it out and there's tons of information there and even when it comes to uh, to male factor as well so it was on the news and it is something that is down uh, we knew that from before and, and it was something that uh, uh, over in the TCM Congress in uh, in, in Rothenburg um, Dr. Lauren Brown, you remember seeing a little bit of the interview. I'll leave the link up here and you can check it out. But um, his talk was actually uh, um, titled, he was sticking it to the man. And it is, it is true, you know, there's, it takes two to make a baby. And a lot of the times you end up not seeing the man in the clinic as much as you would see the woman. And it has happened to us in the clinic. It has happened to me not too long ago where the... Um, I got the patient in and, and when I asked him, you know, what's your main complaint, the reason why you're here? And his first reply was, my wife told me to. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, does, it does warrant a little bit more engagement. We, we're here to help. And there's always tons of talk about how, how it helps with female fertility. But actually, yeah, it's about time we start really involving the men. And look, if it takes the, uh, the tabloid type news that sperm numbers are going down and it's the reason for alarm and whatever, if, if, if it takes that to get men more engaged, I say, yeah, keep, keep those headlines going. But it's, it's, not, it's not just like that. Um, it's not as simple as that. But the uh, but yeah, lifestyle and diet are a big big issue that um, that men just need to address, and we can't. <clears throat> I suppose we can't expect that we're gonna live our lives forever like we were when we we're late teens and and in our twenties and and everything. And it's <clears throat> it's it's just one of those things. Men just take longer to get themselves checked and it shouldn't be like that we shouldn't have a problem going and getting ourselves checked you know doing blood tests you know things like which ties in with what the patient asked me to to talk about <clears throat> things about like prostate checks and all that it's it's our health that we we only have this there's no second chance we only have this go so it i think and, and I, if if you take anything from this from this video this time just please if it's been a while since you had yourself checked just go to your gp go to your physician and just get yourself checked it, you know just, just keep it just like we all do with our cars you know i know nothing about cars that's that's my brother's thing like he, he he's the one in with with the cars I, I know nothing about them but we check them all the time because we don't want to have problems with it and it's the same thing and if it's to do with male fertility look talk about it at home as well you know 
the partner is going to have to go and do tests you go and do tests as well you know just keep yourself keep yourself in shape and and please please look at your diet and lifestyle you know it's really really important and and, and look after yourself so anyway <clears throat> that would be my plea for for this uh, for this vlog it is that the uh, men actually watch it and please if it's been a while since you had yourself checked and that includes bloods and even what we're going to talk about just get yourself checked please so what is prostatitis? Prostatitis is the inflammation of the prostate gland. There's a few different types of prostatitis. Um, there's acute bacterial prostatitis and chronic bacterial prostatitis. And as you can see from the name from that one, that is normally it occurs when bacteria actually goes from the urinary tract into the prostate gland itself. Normal treatments would include um, antibiotics and NSAIDs. Another type of prostatitis is asymptomatic inflammatory prostatitis. This normally goes undetected until the man actually goes for some checkup and because it's asymptomatic, the man might not necessarily know that it's there. The most common type of prostatitis is the chronic prostatitis or the chronic pelvic pain syndrome. So prostatitis, although being really, really common, um, obviously men, we don't really like to talk about anything to do with health, never mind to do with that region on the body. But it's, it's something that, again, we should be talking about a little bit more. And just to let you know, and if you have friends or if, you're, if you need to talk to someone, you can, you can even get in touch with us as well. But the common symptoms and the things that you should really be looking out for would be obviously pelvic pain, difficulty with urination or even painful urination or painful ejaculation as well. For example, with the uh, one, one quick thing that will kind of ring a bell to you is that especially at night time, if you're realizing that you really have that urgency to urinate, you, you're getting up during the night a bit more time and you really have to go straight away, especially at night time, those signs, just watch out for those signs and definitely, you know, just, just get on to your physician and just get yourself checked because it, it, there's so much that can be done. And this is where we then, we then get in, in, into why was this requested because we do have patients in the clinic that seek help with acupuncture and Chinese medicine to, for, you know, for treatment for their prostatitis symptoms. And just not only we're there to deal with the pain, obviously we want to make sure that the man feels as comfortable as possible, but we're kind of trying to get to the root of the problem and trying to help with that inflammation that is there, okay? So this is where it comes back to the diet and lifestyle. You know, things that are big, big no-nos for it will be things like alcohol, you need to be careful with sugars, you know, the amount of sugar, and especially if it's refined sugars, you know, modified stuff is just not a good idea at all hot spicy foods, acidic foods and acidic drinks, like coffee is a really, really big no-no for it as well. So it, it's really important, like with anything with your health, that not only you're, you're, you're doing it because you found out that there's a problem, that's fine, you're gonna really, really have to do it, but just be mindful as well and really look at your coffee intake, look at your, you know, stress does not help any condition at all and in particular with prostatitis, it's just not a good thing at all. So just make sure that you get yourself checked and make sure that you improve your diet and lifestyle, ask for help and just get yourself in the best shape possible. Okay, like that's the main thing that I want you to take from this. And if you have any questions, if you want us to help with anything, please feel free to get in touch. You have your, your details are on the website if you want to do it privately, that's no problem at all. And just like that person did, just please keep on sending us ideas and suggestions for future videos um, because it's been a year and we are absolutely loving it. So bring it on. And until next time, be kind and be healthy. Oh, baloney. The whole thing always gets back to drugs.